Tesla metamorphosis happened to me and since then my life was completely changed and it could change your life too. This all started like a fairy tale. Um, I live in Sydney but I happen to be in Belgrade, the capital of Serbia and I rented some place to work from. That morning, 10th of July, it seems to be an ordinary summer day. I came earlier to this place for no reason and I was just standing by the window and enjoying the dance of morning sun on the roofs of Belgrade when something very interesting happened. From two directions, in half a circle, two completely white doves came straight to my window, picked the window with their beaks, moved their wings like two ballerinas following the same choreography and flew away. And that filled me with some joy and I felt something important happened, but I didn't know what to connect it to. And uh, then the client came and I started doing healing session. And in the middle of the session, I heard the voice in my head, Tesla healing, you need to reconstruct Tesla healing. My first reaction was, what nonsense, like Tesla and healing? And who am I to reconstruct something a genius Tesla invented? So it, it didn't make any sense to me. That day, there were nine coincidences telling me that I needed to do something connected to Nikola Tesla. How a healing modality could be connected to Nikola Tesla. Well, the privilege to have Tesla's name in the name of modality is because we can access Tesla waves. Tesla didn't call them Tesla waves, uh, he called them non-Hertzian waves and he wrote about those frequencies of energy in his Canadian patents where he explained that those waves are different from Hertzian, not just in frequency, but also in their structure and form, that they are multidimensional uh, and that they are in the domain of a new physics. He said that they get stronger with the distance. So the next question would be, and how can we be sure that we can access those Tesla waves? Now we have a special camera invented by Dr. Harry Oldfield where different frequencies of energy are presented in different colors and different codes in the computer. So now we can see different frequencies of energy. Well, it took me nine months to put all the puzzles together and I must say there were times when I was going in and out and questioning all that, but I came to the stage where I simply knew I was doing something different and I was doing something connected to Nikola Tesla, but I didn't know how to explain that to you. So when I heard about uh, Dr. Harry Oldfield and his camera, I was just planning to go to London to do more research to see maybe I'll find something new. When I received a report from Serbia, they discovered that one mountain is actually a pyramid. And a group of scientists went to do the research. And this is what you are looking at at the moment is this pyramid photographed with this PIP camera invented by Dr. Harry Oldfield. And you can notice these purple colors on the top of the mountain. So when scientists were measuring, um, they discovered that the energy was weaker on the very top of the mountain, actually of the pyramid, and stronger away from the 
pyramid. So they came to the conclusion that this pyramid is receiving some energy from space. But then just by chance, and when I say by chance, you know that I don't mean it because nothing happens by chance. In this group was engineer Marjanovic who managed to reconstruct Tesla amplifier with extra coil which radiates those waves that we now call Tesla waves. So he demonstrated to other scientists that there are such frequencies of energy that can get stronger with the distance. And this what you're looking at is the PIP image of this amplifier. And when I saw all that, I decided to invite Dr. Professor Luber Ristovsky to come and make photos uh, while I was doing seminar in Belgrade. And he did. And after three days, he brought us the photos and he said, look, identical colors that appear around Tesla amplifier with extra coil appear during the session of Tesla metamorphosis. So now we have colorful on white that we can access those Tesla waves. And Dr. Professor Luber Ristovsky, he checked all the data at his institute, he checked on internet, he contacted Dr. Harry Oldfield, and he states that Tesla metamorphosis is the only modality where we can access Tesla waves. And I hope I'll explain why it's so important. Actually, you know, the difference among modalities is not in how we wave our hands or where we place our hands. The difference is in what frequencies of energy we can access. In other words, what levels of consciousness we can access. Tesla was genius because he was spiritual. He was aware that energy is not just a mechanical movement of particles. He was aware that he was dealing with consciousness, with this universal consciousness that nowadays we call the field, and he used to call it active ether. So that is why I'm saying that in different modalities we can access different frequencies of consciousness. And I'm aware that the majority of people get interested for Tesla metamorphosis because our clients report healings from many illnesses that are labeled incurable, even from birth deformities and physically damaged spine. And on teslametamorphosis.com website, you can hear, for example, a mother of 21-year-old girl saying how the doctor of her daughter was amazed how only in two months, since he saw her previously, one side of her rib cage, which was much smaller and indent, developed to be equal to the other side, and her spine was almost completely straight. Well, when I talk about that, um, many people just can't believe it and uh, others, they call it miracles. When I was writing this book, Tesla Metamorphosis, Heal and Evolve, I was trying to find explanations for those things that um, people tend to call miracles. And when we talk about, uh, let's say, this case uh, of birth deformity, there is a contemporary scientist, Dr. Pyotr Garyaev. He is the member of Russian Academy of Science and New York Academy of Science. And he did research on DNA. And he discovered that our DNA follows some rules similar to the rules of human language. And he states that frequencies of energy and words can reprogram DNA. It is more about information. So let's say if we go back to this case of birth deformity, the DNA of this girl received the information how a healthy ribcage and 
plants should be, and they developed. <laughs> Most people get interested for Tesla metamorphosis because of those healing results, but I personally believe that even more than those healings is uh, important the effect of Tesla waves on human consciousness. How to explain that? There is something that we do in Tesla Metamorphosis and we call it Tesla Soul Communication. I'll first explain what is Tesla Soul Communication and what is the purpose of it. Uh, well, um, you know, we all have some things that we want to forget, we, we don't want to think about them, so we pack them nicely and we push them in our subconscious mind. But the problem is that it works from the air. It affects our reactions and it affects our health. In psychology and psychiatry we use free associations and hypnotherapy to help people to drag these things from the level of subconscious to the conscious mind because once it is on the level of conscious mind they can deal with it and they can overcome the problem. Tesla soul communication I find even more effective because first of all we can get to results much faster and in a much simpler way and then both uh, hypnotherapy and free associations they reach to the level of subconscious mind. In Tesla soul communication, we could even reach to the level of integrative mind, which is the level of the soul. And what does it mean? It means that even karmic healing can be reached. So, how does it work? When I teach this in class, one of exercises is that each student brings a photo of somebody who needs healing and then those photos are mixed and everybody takes a photo of somebody he doesn't know and does the healing session. And what is fascinating, because I don't do any attunements, I don't do any rituals, but all students, regardless of their educational background, regardless of their age, each of them is capable of creating communication with the client on the level of conscious, subconscious and integrative mind. And there is usually a lot of excitement in the class when they realize that there are no doubts that they were talking to this particular person from the photo because you can uh, recognize the personality of this person even by words. So, well, I was wondering how is it possible? Because, you know, I was getting those messages. I have those messages in my head that I should teach that and um, to be honest um, I was arrogantly afraid how could I teach this how could I know that everybody will be capable of uh, doing it and I just don't know how many students or thousands of students I don't know the numbers uh, went through this seminar and all of them were capable of creating this communication with client on the level of conscious, subconscious and integrative mind. I don't know whether you heard about Swami Vivekananda. Uh, this is Yogi who was teaching Vedanta and Tesla once said that his teaching is the only theory that could entertain modern science. So because of that I got curious and I was attending classes of teaching of Swami Vivekananda and there I learned that 
yogis had a special meditation which had the purpose of elevating consciousness. This meditation started from basic chakra, which is red, up to the seven main chakras and finishing with crown chakra, which is purple in color. This what you are looking at the moment are auras of students made by Pip Camera after finishing Tesla Metamorphosis 1 seminar. So you can notice that there is this purple color in aura of each student. <laughs> because of that, uh, Professor Rysovsky named us Teslians. So it seems that those Tesla waves simultaneously uh, bring us Westerners who are not so disciplined as yogis to the level of crown chakra. And that's the only explanation that I could find how comes that all students are capable of creating communication with their clients on the level of conscious, subconscious and integrative mind and they were not aware of such their abilities before.